hello guys welcome back so now let's start this project so we will go step by step first of all open up your Android studio and when you open up the Android studio you will see a window like this and then you can simply click on new flutter project and then make sure that from here you select flutter then click next and then here you have to provide your project name as I told you guys we will go step by step so first of all we will start from the sellers app so we can give it name as sellers and remember do not give any extra space like this for example if I say sellers space app instead of space you can use underscore like this and the name of your project must be in small English alphabets okay so sellers underscore app and then after it here is the description like this is sellers app using firebase as backend then after it comes the organization so after this com dot instead of this example you can write your organization name or your name for example my name is Muhammad Ali I will type Muhammad Ali if your name is let's say John you can type John okay and then the next thing is we are developing the sellers app for the Android iOS so we will uncheck the Linux Mac OS web and Windows okay uncheck this only Android and iOS this is for the sellers app okay so then click create so our new project is creating now so it has been created successfully as you can see the sellers app okay now the first thing is from here let's close this okay from here as you can see you can click here okay and from here you have to choose project just click here and choose project so this is the structure okay this is our sellers app which you can see and when you expand this sellers app inside it we have the iOS module and we have the Android module as this sellers app is we will develop it for the Android and iOS that is for the iPhones and from the, for the Android smartphones then comes the lib inside the lib we have the mandar dot file which you can see here from where basically our app starts whenever we run our application that is when we want to test our application on phone then it starts from here that is from the main by default there is some default code written okay which we do not need which we will remove of course in a while and then after it uh, inside this lib let me tell you uh, many of you already know I'm explaining this for the beginners who are new to flutter okay so please guys we have to go step by step okay and we have to take everyone along with us along the whole process then after it comes the postpack.yml file here basically we include the uh, dependencies like any uh, dependency like for example if you want to uh, take picture from gallery or capture image with phone uh, with phone camera for that we use dependencies and that dependencies we add here inside our popspec.yml below the cupertino icons like here okay and so on which you will see uh, in the upcoming videos okay as we are going step by step and also we add any asset for example any image any audio file which we want to use in our project we will add that here the reference to that we will add here similarly any fonts if we want to add we add it here okay they have given these examples already here so anyways this was just a small introduction now let's start so first of all we have to start from the mandar dot currently we have here the default code for example which is this my home page okay just minimize this my home page and my home page stat both of these okay my home page and my home page stat we do not need that we will simply remove it just like that and remove this comment also and then in here there are some comments which we do not need and then this home the theme data color scheme dot from seed it will be black for now we will just say black and the title we will change to sellers app 